welcome to Coffee Combo Wednesday. This is Coffee Combo Wednesday for Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020, episode 227. Oh my goodness, did you used to love 227? <laughs> I used to love that show. My name is Cindy Simmons, and we're gonna be here for about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna talk about three things, and then at the end, I'm gonna give you something uh, super fun because it is Halloween in September here on Coffee Combo Wednesday. So go ahead and give me a cheers right now, if you would. Cheers, I today am the fourth Sanderson sister. How about that? Because it is Halloween in September. Yes, it is. Okay, I will give you a cheers. I'm having a little coffee this afternoon because, duh, the show is called Coffee Combo Wednesday. <laughs> Like I said, we are gonna be here for about 15 or 20 minutes. If this is your first time, welcome. Welcome to the show where we're just about spreading joy and kindness like Nutella. If this is not your first time, thank you for coming back and coming back every week if you're able to, that's awesome, I appreciate it. Um, and go ahead and click like. If you are watching this on Facebook, click subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube or wherever you're watching it. And if you would love to share this video, I would appreciate that. That would be amazing if you would do that. That helps me, um, which I'm gonna talk about in just a couple minutes. So a little bit about me. I am originally from Los Angeles, California, born and raised in the Valley, like totally for sure. Gag me with a spoon. Uh, yes. That's silly, I know. <laughs> um, and then I lived in Nashville and Atlanta. We've been here in Orlando, Florida for about three years. I grew up 30 minutes away from Disneyland in California, and now we live less than 30 minutes away from Walt Disney World, which is pretty awesome considering our family is a total Disney family. So it's me, my husband, Eric. He owns an awesome promotional products company called My Smart Shirt. You can find him at mysmartshirt.com. He does like, you know, logos on stuff basically. So anything that needs a logo for your company, your business, your church, your school, organization, your charity, run, whatever, PPE stuff, need masks, hand sanitizers. If a logo needs to be on it, he is your guy. You can find him at mysmartshirt.com. We also have two daughters, 15 and seven. They are currently at home with me because we are whatever you wanna call it, homeschool, virtual school, e-school, distance learning, it all has so many different names now. And then also my mama Jane, who um, is also a four time cancer survivor, because she's basically a rock star. She lives with us as well. So we'll be here for a couple of minutes, um, talking about mostly fun stuff. I do have like one quick thing I wanna get started um, when we get to topic number one. So I will give you a cheers. Also, I am the host of the new Party City podcast. So you can go to partycity.com. You can also listen wherever you listen to your podcast. I'm a Purdue Farms ambassador. More on all of this in just a couple of minutes. And I, you know, I guess by trade, I am a radio personality. That is what I did my entire life. I'm no longer doing that. But I've been doing this show for over four years now and I love it. It makes me so, so, so very happy. I love it so much. It, um, it just gives me joy to come here every Wednesday and kind of hang out and hopefully give you a break from the craziness. And if you're like me, you are so ready. You're so ready for 2020 to be over. We already started decorating for Halloween and fall because that's how we roll here in, uh, in our house. And I know a lot of people are. My daughter has been listening to Christmas music for two weeks. And if I'm being honest, I'm totally here for it. I've been listening to it with her. And although we're decorated for fall, we're just kind of getting excited for Christmas. I know it's so silly. But I don't really care. I don't really care. Um, like I said, this is episode 227. I was thinking about how much I used to love that show. Mary, Mary, Mary. Remember Jack A. Harry? <laughs> Jack A. Jack A. Jack A. Jack A. Jack A. Harry. Oh my goodness, I loved 227. Will you give me a like if you know what I'm talking about and you watch 227 also? Mary, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Oh, Mary. That's the worst Jackie Harry impression ever. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, before we do get started, I want to say congratulations to Heidi. Heidi E. from Pennsylvania. She won last week's super cute mini mouse dish towels and then that cute Mickey pumpkin necklace. So adorable. We're going to have another fun giveaway today and then I can't wait to tell you what we're doing next week. I'm actually going to tell you before we get out of here at the end of the show. All right, topic number one. 
I want to get serious for just one second. I know I said that this show is about spreading joy and kindness, and that's what I want to do. But I wanted to talk to you about something for just for just a minute because I feel like I'm always super transparent with you as as much as humanly possible as, as one person can be. But I got kind of a snotty message the other day, and it doesn't matter from who, but she posted it on social media, and I private messaged her to respond. Um, and I, I'm always kind because even like, it's like that whole, you know, this is not a political statement, so don't come at me, but it's that whole, when you go high, when they go, um, I'm going to mess it up. When they go low, you go high. It's what I try to teach my daughters all the time. That's fine. They want to come at you and give you a low. You just rise above that because it doesn't matter. And so it was only one like snotty thing, but I thought, you know what? I feel like I want to bring it to your attention so that I can sort of share with you kind of like a behind the scenes, if you will. So this woman commented on a post of mine on Instagram and it was a post about Party City. I was sharing a party idea. Like I always tell you at the beginning of the show, I am the host of the Party City podcast. I also am on the Party City Joy Squad. So what that means is a couple times a month, I do these fun Party City projects and I'm compensated for that. Pretty sure that you know that already, but here's what I kind of want to tell you. Earlier, actually right before COVID, I was fired from my previous job. And all I can really say about that, because I don't know that I'll probably ever talk about it, and, it, and if I do, it's not gonna be right now. But the short version is, I was terminated for standing up to a bully who runs the place, and I was terminated for standing up to the bully on behalf of injustice. That's all I really wanna say about it, because I don't regret it. I I'm, I'm, was obviously very sad that I lost my family's income, and we lost our family's medical insurance because of it. But being able to look at my daughters in the eyes and have them, especially my teenager, my little one didn't understand, but my teenager was so proud of me for doing that. It was completely worth it. The reason I'm telling you that is because of this part of it. This is my job. Coming to you every single week, I know, as fun as it is, it is ridiculous that it is so fun, but this is what I do for a living. I've been doing the show for four years. I supplement this income, or it was when I had that job, and that job is gone. But part of this job is being able to, every single week, give you something fun. Like, that is what I love so much. Like, I love telling silly stories. I love sharing funny things that happen in the world. And then I love wrapping it up by giving you a present. So when I, for example, last week, um, I went to Walt Disney World and remember I did the show from Disney's Yacht Club. So when I'm invited to go do something, the hope is that I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna come back and tell you about it so that I can tell you all about, say, at, at Disney, for example. I can tell you about how fun an event is. I can tell you how not fun an event is. I can tell you what something is like because I don't want you to go spend your money and then uh, you know, you're know you like, well, that's weird. She was on Coffee Combo saying how great it was and it really wasn't great because I wanna be truthful to you. So I go and do experiences. But my favorite part of getting to do stuff like that is I bring you back free stuff. That's part of the presence. Now, with that being said, when I work with say Party City and Purdue Farms, I am compensated. My commitment to you as it has been since I started this show and really everything we do on social media, if it is not a brand that our family uses, believes in, all of that, it's not going to be part of this. It's not going to be part of this show. It's not going to be part of my social media. It is just not. That is why you very rarely see me talking about stuff like all the time because I want to pick and choose who we as a family represent and share with you. So what happened is this woman saw that I had posted something about Party City and she left a snotty comment. I mean, it was, it was a snotty comment about we have enough ads in this world. We don't need you sharing an ad. And I think I was disappointed um, in that for many reasons. One, she's a woman. We should be supporting each other anyway. I am a business owner. This is how I make my living. 
Two, if you go through all of my social media and this show, you will see that I very rarely endorse brands. Like every post, you know, when you see a post, it will say, like if we go somewhere, it says hashtag hosted. If you see something that is sponsored, it will say hashtag ad or hashtag sponsored or hashtag gifted because I always disclose that information. I work for Party City. I work for Purdue Farms. Those are two examples and those are the two main examples because Purdue Farms is all about my family. They invited me out there last year. I got to meet their family. They know that our family has eaten Purdue Farms for years. And it's the same with Party City. Party City has been a part of my life for years. I mean, hello, do you see how many costumes our family buys every year? <laughs> for every year for Halloween, for Christmas, or just for some random, I don't know, Arbor Day. We like to dress up. So, I private messaged her and I just explained like, hey, I'm not sure why you're coming at me. That's not very kind. All I want to do is spread joy and kindness. And there are tons of more other people. And, and I want to make sure you understand I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. There are many people who every post is a hashtag ad. That works for them. And that's okay too, because they're supporting their family, whether it's a mom, dad, whoever. This is how I support my family. And because I'm not doing that other job anymore, and thankfully I'm not in that toxic environment, I am here with you every Wednesday. And I get to share, like for example, next week, Purdue Farms is sponsoring Coffee Combo Wednesday. And we have been a partner with them. I, I mean, oh my goodness, it's been a year, a year this month. Well, I mean, in my mind, it's been many more years <laughs> because we've been using and eating Purdue Farms forever. I love them. And so next week, I'm gonna give you away, give, give, give you away, give away this awesome game day bundle. This is like quality stuff. So this is my job. I get to come and hang out with you and then give you free stuff. So all of that being, is, being said, I want you to understand and know in case you're new or maybe in case you haven't heard me talk about this before, this is my job and this is how I make a living. But my commitment to you is I promise it is always going to be, I'm having a partnership with people and companies and products that our family uses and or believes in. And every time that you share one of my videos, every time you like and comment and tell other people about Coffee Convo Wednesday, or you're watching one of my TikToks, or you're watching one of our Instagram stories, you're liking uh, Instagram posts and commenting, all of that stuff helps me and my family. So I am just a mom trying to make a living for my family. So there, I guess that's the end of it. Oh, also too, like I've told you before, I have an Amazon store. So when you go to my Amazon store and you're like, oh yeah, I wanna see what she was talking about with that hair product or whatever, it's just stuff that I like. I put it there in an Amazon store so that if you go to Amazon, really you can use my link anytime, you don't have to buy stuff out of my store. But if you use my link when you're shopping on Amazon with PS, you're like me, you're shopping on Amazon all the time, I get a tiny little affiliate percentage. It's like if you didn't win the Purdue Farms bundle and you go and use my Purdue Farms slash Cindy Simmons link, then I get a percentage for you shopping at Purdue Farms. This is what supports my family. So I just wanted to share that so that there is absolutely no confusion and I'm pretty sure every single one of you watching knows this already and maybe that mom on social media on instagram just i don't know was confused or having a bad day i always say hurting people hurt others so i was so kind in my response to her i was very gentle because i just don't think you know i, I need to give her hate back i just don't feel that way because that's just not what my heart is i feel like giving kindness back and so yeah it hurts when someone's like rah, rah, at you and you want to go rah, rah. i don't know what that is <laughs> But that's not me, it's not my personality. You have to really send me over the edge. And if you mess with my family, if you mess with my family, then I'm gonna come at you like a mama bear. No, well, no, okay, I would actually probably. So there you go. I just wanted to get that off my chest right as we start the show so we can move on to something funny. Because topic number two, and if you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to email me or, or share below. Okay. Topic number two, I have been dying to tell you this story since it happened a couple days ago. 
If you follow me on Instagram or right here on Facebook, depending on where you're watching, you may have seen this already. <laughs> but my neighbor, Steve-O, texts us the other night and he said, there is a baby gator in front of your house. And I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me? Um, pardonnez-moi? <laughs> what? What did you say? There was a baby gator in front of your house. A baby gator was in front of my house, y'all. Okay, I feel like this is an extra dramatic story and I don't want to spill my coffee. So, of course, I go running outside because I'm an imbecile. I go running outside. Girls! Girls, there's a baby gator! My, my husband and I run out. The girls come out. And then I'm like, why? Why am I running outside? There's a baby gator. An alligator. Why would I run towards the alligator? So we go outside and Steve-O is there with his dog and this baby alligator is, so it's right across the street. We have like this green space across the street from us. So you have to physically cross the street and it's right there, like on the edge of the grass, almost in the street. And I'm like, what in the world? So of course, what do I do? I grab my phone. <laughs> Cause that's what any Floridian does. That's what I've heard. I've only been in Florida three years. Grab my phone. Oh my gosh. And then of course my youngest, can I go see it? No, no, most definitely not. Do not get anywhere near it. All right, this isn't even the crazy part. I'm not even at the crazy part yet. So of course I'm like fascinated by this. So then I'm like, oh, this is also dangerous. I should get on our Facebook neighbors page and alert everyone in the neighborhood. Hi neighbors, just wanted to let you know, here's my address, here's where we are, here's how you can find it. There is a gator there is a gator out in front of our house because I was thinking, oh my goodness, can you imagine? They're out, you're out running, this is whatever, in the evening, the other night, or you're walking your little dog, or you're walking your kids. Hey mommy, what's that? Oh, I don't know, it's a baby gator! I mean, come on, that's totally crazy. Okay, so now I've put it on the neighbor's page and I can see out the window, like where I am, I'm in the kitchen, the living room is right there, right? Kind of like behind you, <laughs> behind where the camera is. And so I can see people walking by. So I'm like, hello, hi neighbor, there's a gator right there. Oh yeah, we, we, we saw your post and the, and the gentleman, my neighbor Steve-O, was still walking his dog. So he was warning people. So the two of us are warning people. So then all of a sudden, Steve-O's wife, Erin, who I love, their son is in Luna's class, my youngest daughter's. So she's texting me saying, um, yeah, Steve-O wants to go rescue and relocate the alligator. So I say to my husband, yeah, so Steve-O wants to rescue and relocate the alligator back to the lake because we have several lakes here because we're in Florida. And my husband's like, yep, I'm in. Let's go do this. He goes and gets these big gloves. He goes outside. That's him going outside. He goes outside and Steve-O, so Steve-O had gone home, comes back, and my husband meets outside. Well, Steve-O, I guess, decided to put on an alligator rescue and relocate outfit. He was already wearing Crocs and just a very fun pair of shorts. And then he put on, I can only describe it as like one of those painted on suits. <laughs> I shared a picture of it in my Insta stories and on my Facebook page. So if you're watching this on Facebook, you can scroll down or maybe I'll just put it back in the comments here when we're done with the show. But it was so funny, I couldn't even believe it. So my husband and him, they go out there. So Steve like has this towel and he puts the towel like on top of the alligator to get, I guess, to be able to close the alligator's mouth so they can lift him up because apparently that's what you have to do is close the baby alligator's mouth. So then my husband comes over, he's got the gloves on and he gets the mouth closed. And then Steve-O and my husband, there's Steve-O walking down the street and this shirt and the shorts and the Crocs, which is so funny to me that he was wearing Crocs on so many levels, walks it down to the lake and they release it and rescue it. Dangerous, yes. Best thing that happened since quarantine, yes again. Well, maybe right after the Tiger King because y'all know how I felt about the Tiger King that like gave my quarantine life. But it was, I mean, all the neighbors were out, our new neighbors across the street, our friends down the street, we're all out. Like this is the big, I mean, cars are stuck. You would think 
that, I don't know, I think it's really because we're all like just, we've been stuck in quarantine. We've been stuck in this Corona nightmare for six straight months now. So everyone was outside watching this situation and it was crazy and they did. They rescued the crocodile, alligator, whatever. Um, and you know, sent it back to the lake. I don't know how the baby alligator came up here, but you know, we were all thinking where there is a baby alligator, there is a mommy or a daddy somewhere and I don't want any part of that. I would have flipped out if I had been walking outside with my kids because we don't have a dog and went over there and saw just a baby alligator with no warning. I would have flipped out and I get it. We live in Florida and they say in Florida, in every body of water, just know that there could be an alligator and I am petrified of them. This is the first time in three years, not that I've seen, cause we've seen, we see them in our lake. We have the lakes right down the street. But the first time I've seen one this close, like away from the lake. I haven't been to Gatorland here in Florida. Y'all, it was scary. It was scary, it was exciting. It was scary, exciting. I don't know, it was all of the above, but it was high drama. His outfit was high drama and I loved it. I loved that he went and changed and put on like an alligator rescuing and relocating outfit. He is such a personality and I think he is such a great addition to our neighborhood. <laughs> so I'm all about it. And I've known them for a couple years because like I said, their son is in my youngest class, but man, it was so dramatic and I loved it. It was so much fun. Oh, thank you, Steve-O and my husband for a night of drama. So, and now the baby alligator is back, is back in the lake and hopefully found his mommy and daddy gator and is not going to come back around here anymore. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back, or see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. That's what my, my mom and my youngest always say to each other. It is very cute. Okay, and finally on Coffee Combo Wednesday. So many jobs. I thought it would be fun to ask you to list, if you have time, all of the jobs that you think you have. Because I started thinking about being this, see, I'm not like homeschooling the old school way where I am physically leading all of the subjects. She is doing virtual learning, so my second grader has a teacher and she watches stories, um, or stories, lessons, you know, in class, like on a laptop. And then the rest of it, the rest of the day, it's like two hours a morning she does that and the rest of the day is me teaching. But I figured out that I am not just a teacher. I am now also like a personal assistant, like a like a personal assistant, because I'll have my plan. I'm like, yes, um, yes, Miss Carnell, Miss Luna Carnell, um, today you have, um, you have a nine o'clock with computer science followed by a 10 o'clock Spanish uh, leading into a wrap up of language arts. And then um, for those, let me get you these, you need these. Um, you know, things here, these accessories. Um, lunch today, peanut butter and jelly, will that work for you from 12 to one? After that, at one o'clock, we have a follow-up um, with your teacher, um, blah, blah, blah. And then at two o'clock, we'll have some free time. This is what I feel like I've become. Like, I feel like I've become like a personal assistant to my kid. Thankfully, my teenager is like, she's got this thing down. I'll usually help out with lunch because I want them to just stay focused. And I figure, all right, well, I'd be giving them lunches to take to school like I used to, so I can help with the lunch situation. But oh my goodness, then it's like if she's in the middle of a Zoom meeting, you know, she's on, she's muted. Most of the time the, the students are muted, I think almost all the time. And so my youngest will say to me, um, yeah, so um, may I please have some water, mommy? And then in the middle, I am getting up and I'm getting her water. Yes, ma'am, may I bring you anything else? May I bring you a snack? Um, do you need a napkin? May I bring you anything else? May I wa wipe off your blue blocker computer glasses for you? I mean, I feel like I am her personal assistant. Okay, today we have also this work. This is due. Um, let's go ahead and take a picture of it. I have to turn that into a PDF and then upload that assignment for you. So today's agenda, we have this due. We have that. Then on Friday, we have this. Oh, and then Friday, she starts her robotics cl um, club. So yes, um, Luna, at, at Friday at 9 a.m., you have a loop... A Lubotics, robotics meeting, your first one at nine o'clock. I mean, this is what I am now. 
In addition to running my own business, because this is my business, this is what I do, like I said earlier, this is my business, and then also trying to run a household. Like, I don't know how you all do it. I don't know how any of us are doing it. It is so much. And then, like I've told you before, I've shared that I have been wrestling with sleep issues and I know that it is stress and I have been trying everything thanks to many of you and your awesome suggestions, but holy cannoli, working as a personal assistant slash chef slash, you know, taxi cab driver slash teacher slash principal slash, you know, laundromat owner and then housekeeper, all of that. It is a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot. So I thought it would be fun. If you need to vent for just a hot minute like I do, why don't you just in the comments give me a list of all of your titles and have fun with it because that's what we're here to do, right? We're here to have fun. Oh my goodness, one of my best friends, Christine from Atlanta, she's watching and she totally said yes, yes to the personal assistant thing. And I know if your kids are home right now, I know that you're going through that. It is so much. You're trying to just do everything at once, trying to be everything to everyone. And all I know is mama needs a break. Mama needs a break. We are about to hit my birthday month of love. So I hope my husband is watching because it is going to be a month of mommy needs attention and lots of love and appreciation, which he's very good about because it has been like crazy town here. Crazy town. All right. I mean, I feel like I'm sweating. This has been a like, woo, kind of show. Comment below, let me know what you are because I am sure I am all of that too. So we, we're all in this together. Okay, that's enough of High School Musical for you. Before we get out of here, I wanna show you what I'm giving away today. And you're like, did you not just give that away a little while ago? Yes, and I wanna tell you why I'm giving it away again because Every time we give away something here on the show, which we do every single week, like I said, it's my favorite thing to do. Every time we give something away, you have exactly one week to claim your prize. I put it in the comments. I put it in the comments on YouTube. I announce it here live the following week. Hey, here's the winner. If you don't respond in that time period in a week, then the prize goes back into the prize closet. So look what is back in the prize closet, which I know makes all of you happy because you're like, Yes, they forgot to claim their prize. I'm sorry for the person who forgot to claim their prize, but unfortunately I give you a week, which I think is ample time, but people are just busy right now. So I understand and it's all right. It's no, no hard feelings because y'all are excited now because you're like, yes, I want those ears. So these are so cute. They say sweet and spooky on the side. So cute, right? These are the Halloween candy Minnie Mouse headband ears. I think they're so adorable. I even contemplated not giving them away again and keeping them for myself, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. So they are for you and they're so cute. So if you would like to enter to win these, all you have to do is comment mini, M-I-N-N-I-E, mini, and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. If you're watching this on Facebook and you would like a bonus entry, head on over to my YouTube channel. Very easy to find. You can go to cindysimmons.com and comment there. Remember, if your name is Minnie Mouse on YouTube and your name is Cindy Simmons in real life, you got to let me know on YouTube. Hey, uh, Winter Garden, Florida, my name is Cindy Simmons because I need to know how to connect that you got a bonus entry. Okay, does that make sense? If you're watching this on YouTube, as always, click subscribe and then you can go to Facebook and comment there and get yourself one bonus entry there. So good luck. It is Minnie and then the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday and one winner who, again, don't forget, in the comments next week um, on this post, actually, here, you have one week to enter and then your name will be announced on next week's show. So good luck. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here every single week. And next week is Purdue Farms. We're doing a game day bundle. I cannot wait to tell you all about it. I cannot wait to eat my face off and tell you all about it. Um, thank you so much uh, for watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. I'm looking forward to next week's show. It's going to be so fun. And then we go straight into the birthday month where, of course, we're going to have lots of fun things every single week because that's what I love doing. 
So thank you for being here. Head over to cindysimmons.com to follow me on all of the socials. If you are on TikTok, if you've got it downloaded by Sunday, because that was the last time to be able to download for right now. That's all a whole bit dramatic thing. But if you're on TikTok, I would love for you to follow me at I am Cindy Simmons. We post stuff all of the time. We're having so much fun there. I love doing TikTok. It gives me life. And we're also sharing those on Instagram Reels. So make sure you check that out on my Instagram page as well. It's I am Cindy Simmons. So thank you for being here. Love you so much. I will see you next week on the last week of September. And it is officially fall now. Fall now. So happy fall, y'all. And spread joy and kindness like Nutella. I'll see you next week. Bye.